We're tracking a chance for snow through the first part of the day, and it's associated with a cold front that's going to move over the state during the afternoon. But ahead of that boundary, that chance for snow, and there's a band that is going to pass over the viewing area during the middle part of the morning and eventually move out by the late morning hours. But here's a closer look at Precision 18 radar. At this point, a few flurries beginning to move into our western county south of Fowler, and we have flurries through Warren County. Same thing with Fountain County moving into western Tippecanoe County. Also, a couple flurries around Rensselaer and northern Newton and Jasper County. We will have that chance for snow again that first part of the day and by the afternoon when it moves out, we're not going to see high snow totals, potentially one to two inches for our southern locations and less than an inch for the rest of the viewing area by this afternoon. And then once the cold front moves out, we're going to have big changes in the forecast. A big cool downs on the way. High, high temperatures are only going to be in the single digits for Thursday, and we'll have overnight lows near zero. Wind chill values up to 15 degrees below zero. It'll be important to wear many layers by the time we approach Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Right now, we are at 26 degrees. Skies are overcast. Calm winds. The wind chills at 26 degrees because the wind speeds have become much lighter at this hour. It's 20 in Rochester, 21 Logansport, sitting in the mid 20s in the southern half of the viewing area. And we will stay in the mid-20s through the morning commute, chance for flurries, and then a better chance for snowfall around 9 o'clock this morning. Winds out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. High temperatures today staying in the upper 20s, potentially lower 30s in the southern half of the viewing area. Since temperatures are going to remain below freezing, we're going to be dealing with mostly snow showers, while the southern half of the state has a chance for a rain-snow mix and even a chance for freezing rain for locations south of I-70. Looking at the timeline of this system, the snow showers through the middle part the morning lasting into the lunch hour in our eastern and southern counties and then it's going to completely move out by the early afternoon around three o'clock some of the clouds are going to break up and we'll have decreasing cloud cover eventually skies turning mostly clear and that's going to help temperatures drop in a big way tonight a low of nine degrees around greater lafayette otterbin same thing dayton and a low of seven to our north and star city and then tomorrow only high of 20 partly sunny skies and we could see a few flurries in our eastern and northeastern counties by the afternoon another wave of flurries, otherwise staying partly sunny throughout the day, and then colder air has been going to filter in behind that system. Nine degrees for a high on Thursday, mostly sunny, and then Friday, another system's going to arrive. That'll bring us a chance for a wintry mix. Friday night, high of 31, temperatures warming up and then cooling off as another cold front passes. There will be a chance for a wintry mix Saturday, and at this point, looking like more rain versus snow because of the air temperature rising into the 40s. Dropping to 15 Saturday night, could see a few flurries into Sunday morning with a high of 15 with falling temperatures that day. But for the snow this morning, we're not talking about a lot. Just enough that could be slick on the roads, but nothing really measurable. Yeah, not too much. Okay. One to two inches in our southern counties, and like you said, it will still cause slick spots on the roadways, but near an inch around Greater okay. Lafayette. That's what the models are trending at at this point. All right, Amber, thank you.